Welcome to an all new series of data structures and algorithms. Now data structures and algorithms are so important to know if you want to become a sophisticated developer or programmer or you want to get a job at fan companies or if you want to go and really w explore the science, explore the vast ocean of computer science. So data structures and algorithms is very essential to know. Now I got a lot of comments and I got a lot of people that wanted me to create this kind of playlist and, and I know I started procrastinating in the beginning um, because I just didn't want to go over it because it's quite big quite large and it's quite complex but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to explain it in the most simplest way possible I'm gonna try to create my videos so easy to understand that anyone almost anyone can understand from it so hopefully we will start by uh, starting with data structures and algorithms are so important why they're so important and why you need to know them so uh, this comes around when you go out to face real world problems you'll see complex algorithms and logic everywhere so like for instance if we talk about Google now they have ultimate like infinite data like it comes every single time so it's never ending now how do you store the data how do you implement logic operations and how do you manipulate it now what is a data structure and how does it work so we basically want to visualize data structures in the form of diagrams all right and dry run algorithms run step by step to understand the working of data structures now data structures is one term and algorithms is another term why are these two terms always together now data structures is like a storage place where you store your data now data structures could be something like an array something so simple like a vector something so simple like just any other data structures we've taught so far um, but there are so many others that we're gonna be included in this series so data structures is like a storage container for storing your data and then you have algorithms now algorithms are step-by-step -step sequence of operations that are used to solve a particular problem now algorithms are some of the methodologies that we adopt and data structures are the storage local locations so if you want an algorithm you create an algorithm to store data efficiently now there are going to be so many boatloads of algorithms there are going to be so many boatloads of data structures now what we're going to do is we're going to go step by step and try to understand all of them out so we might have a list of uh, our dynamic array which includes some data. Now you have a dynamic array, something like an integer data. It's static and it just has 33 some values inside of it. And uh, now what you would say that now that's a data structure. Now algorithms are a sequence of instructions that allow you us to get something done. Now how is the memory allocated and where is the data stored behind the scenes is now going to be revealed in our video series. How do we add data to the list? How do we delete data from the list? Now you know that there is an array. So in Python, there's, it's called a list because all of the concepts are similar. The syntax is just different. So we have a, a storage location, what we could call an array, we could call it a list. And what happens is that, how do we know that, how is it being deleted? Like if you want to delete one element from the last, how is it possible? How are we adding or how are we appending data to the end of the list? Now there are things that are going behind the scenes, but we don't basically look and we don't focus. But there are some interesting things to know. Now. There's so many data structures out there and there are so many algorithms. Now, our job is to determine which one is more ideal to use in which case. Different types of algorithms are going to be boatloads. Now, there's going to be bubble sort. There's going to be insertion sort. And like I said, again, our job will be to find the best algorithm to deal with the respective scenario. Now we have data structures and data structures could be arrays, they could be dynamic arrays, just like vectors, they could be linked lists, there could be queues, stacks, trees, graphs, hash tables, and so much more. And what our job is to use some kind of efficient data structure and for that efficient algorithm. Now, over here, a big concept plays and that's called the big O notation. Now, that will be covered in a future video and hopefully we will cover the concept behind what big O is. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you got just like the introduction part of the data structure and algorithm series and you're going to understand how we're going to be implementing this in our future videos. So, 
all I want for from you guys is to subscribe the video and like and share it to all others so that they could get benefit from this. And hopefully we will be seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you. Peace out. <laughs>